That's Robbie. A couple weeks into spring ball, what are you what are you seeing from your tight end group here, and obviously a new face with Cole? Yeah, um, you know, tight ends have been good. You know, obviously uh, starting with Tanner, he's he played a bunch last year and played more as the year went on, and you know he's been really physical in the run game, and he, he's done good. Griffin Moore has been as good as he's been since I've been here. I think he's had a really good spring. Um, you know, both run game and pass game. Uh, Cole Cole's a really smart kid. Cole's really smart. He's done a great job picking up the offense, and he's been an asset for us, uh, especially in the past game, but he's done a really good job for us. We're excited about him. You know, Nate's been solid, you know, when he's been in, he's done a good job. Uh, you know, Owen Anderson, and, you know, we got uh, Nick True and Henry Boyer, so we got, we got a good room. How do you keep Henry involved, even though he's not out there? Yeah. Anyway, what's important for him this spring? Well, Henry's one of the smartest guys in the room, so we engage him in meetings and ask him questions, and he can answer everything. He's done a great job of, like, you know, taking Cole Rusk, a new guy, and Nate, even though he's been here, you know, a younger guy, and Nick True just moved to the position and, like, you know, kind of taking them under his wing on the sideline and stuff like that and helping them through. And he's he's really smart. He's done a good job that way. And, you know, he's he's been, he's been studying on his own. You can come in the tight end room, and there's a good chance that – one, a couple of those guys are in there watching, and a lot of time Henry's like running the show on that, so it's been good. Uh, Mitchell, go ahead, Doug. So it seems like Tanner Arkin maybe went through a few growing pains his first year after transferring. What's he got to do to uh, step up this year? What, and what gains has he made in the offseason? I think Tanner's a really good player, personally. Um, you know, I know maybe receptions wise, he didn't have a ton of production in the past game last year. I think that would change, but he's really physical, he's really tough. He gets movement on contact. He's extremely smart. Like, he could coach the tight ends. Like, he's extremely detailed in everything he does. And no ego guy, just wants to win, wants to help the team win, doesn't care what his production looks like, just wants to win. Um, but I, th I think Tanner's had a really good spring. He's a tough kid. Mm -hmm. I couldn't say enough good things about him. What was his process last year to earn more snaps? We saw those mm -hmm. really pick up later. Yeah. This is what he do to get that trust and get out there? Just when he got his opportunity, he made the most of it, you know. He was an asset in the run game. But like you said, he started camp as like our fifth tight end. And by the middle of the season, he was our starter in 12 personnel. And it just physical and tough and smart. And you trusted him. And just he does everything right, you know. And he's, he's, he's a tough kid. You don't hear him say much. He just does his job and does it to the best of his ability. And, you know, he's becoming a good leader, too, in that room. I know he's not the most vocal guy maybe in front of the team, but – He's done a really good job of like taking the young guys under his wing and being a leader. He's got a new kicker, um, highly regarded coming out of high school. How, how's he striking the ball in spring? You asked him about David, how yes. he's doing? Yeah, so David's done a great job. So as of this moment, knock on wood, he's been 100% inside of 45, you know, and outside of that, he's been about 50-50. But he's, he hits a clean ball. He's, I mean, he's super talented. Uh, his detail and his approach, and we could be happier with him. And the operation too, the sample kick. You know. But he's had he's had a really good spring. We're fired up about him. What's the process with him? You know, he could obviously probably be a bigger role. What's the process kind of getting? What's that? I'm sorry. Guess what's the process kind of getting him ready for a bigger role this year? Well, he's got to go earn it, right? Like Fabrizio has played in games and been really good for us. So don't forget about him. And he's had a good spring too. So. You know, we if we had a game tomorrow. You know, I don't know who our kicker is, but feel good about both of them. You know, and uh, and obviously he's been getting more reps with the ones, right? You know, so that's probably along the lines of what you're asking. But he's he's uh, he's pretty even keel. You know, like he's not gonna miss one and let that turn into two. So he does a good job with that, and I think he's a mentally tough kid. And I think it helped that he started late in the year on kickoff too. He got those reps and. You know, had, he was good at times. He struggled at times. But I think ultimately it would be good for him. He had a little bit of, you know, ad adversity and came back and hit some clean balls on kickoff towards the end of the year. But uh, I think that will be a valuable experience for him. The way Brett describes him, he doesn't sound like he's for a lack of confidence or a little bravado. Uh, how does that translate for him? On the yeah, yeah, he's very confident, but he doesn't, like, vocalize. He's not like an arrogant kid. But he is very confident, you know. Uh, which is good, you know. He, he he expects himself to go execute, and you know he under he, he's smart. When he misses one, he knows what he did wrong pretty immediately. So um, yeah, he's. I think I think he's he walks a line of being confident and you know being the other end of that. I think he does a great job of that. Isaiah Williams was a big part of the return game for you. There were some guys that. Uh, 
you get, are you step into that role uh, this, uh, this coming year? You know, that's kind of been an open competition there. We got some guys we're looking at. Hank right now is a really dependable kid back there as far as fielding them right now. I'd say he's a step ahead of just being trustworthy, um, you know, and fielding all catchable punts is a term we use. But Hank's done a great job. We got a lot of other guys working back there. So, you know, we, we, we have six or eight guys getting reps back there, but trying to create an army of returners. And, you know, and that's the thing we've been talking about too is, you know, I think we probably led the country in turnovers on special teams last year. We had four, so I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if that's an NCAA stat or where you get that, but that's got to be up there. So that's a career high for me. So that's been an emphasis for us, right? Like we talk about own the ball, no penalties, and those are a couple things we got to really get cleaned up in the return game. You know, four turnovers is inexcusable. And that's on me, but. We gotta do a better job there, and then we had some big penalties. You know, call back a touchback down line. It was the right call, but we had a couple other returns, so we we gotta do a better job of that. But Hank's done a great job back there, and so with a lot of other guys. I know with Griffin Moore, you talked about maybe his evolution as a blocker. Um, how, how's he taking steps? And like we know we can catch the ball, but how, how's he grown in that part of his game? Yeah. Well, first off, I think Griffin is one of the smartest players I've ever got to coach and I've had some really smart ones like he's a he's much more intelligent than I am you know what I mean I'm not I, I mean it <laughs> I'm not just saying that but uh so that helps right he understands angles and he understands scheme and he always knows what to do I think he's added strength and he's doing a better job like just hand placement hat placement getting movement on contact rolling his hips you know what I mean so we we talk all the time about getting movement in the run game and he's done a much better job of knowing what to do and being a position blocker and now he's actually like creating some movement and you know obviously that helps every that's everything in the run game he's done a much better job of that just creating movement in the run game but he's always been super smart he knows what to do and he's just done a better job of just moving on contacts a big thing we talked to in hand placement we've been on him in the off season about like you know he plays hands wide at times last year he's done a better job like base football one-on-one stuff he's done a good job with all that and then just one more about cole like what, yeah someone who's as productive as he's been mm -hmm. in the passing game like what can that add to your guys's room just philosophically i guess or just those abilities yeah it uh, it adds a ton i mean he's 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 a very good receiver he's got really good ball skills he's really savvy he understands, you know, stems and leverage and, you know, coverage and stuff like that. So he's been well coached before he got here. Hopefully we, we don't screw it up. But uh, he, he's, he's a good player, and he, he adds a bunch. And, you know, anytime you got a, a tight end who's a receiving threat, it can, you know, you can play in 11 or 12 personnel out of, you know, 10 personnel pictures. It's, it's hard for a defense, you know what I mean? And, you know, we talk to him, we talk to our tight ends, like anytime you get a will linebacker or safety on you, that's gotta be a win, you know, and he does that regularly. He's been good for us. Anything in particular you wanna see him kind of hone or, or improve the spring? Uh, he, he, he's doing a really good job, I would say. I think the big thing is just continuing to learn the offense, which he's actually way ahead of where most people probably would be. He's an extremely intelligent kid. Um, but, you know, just making it so he knows it like the back of his hand. And he studies it all the time. He's in there. He's a super intelligent kid. And he, he, he's getting better at practice. We're really excited about him. We're fired up to get him.